So the last time I went in the water with these tracks on, we learned real fast that uh, they don't work well in water. But I want to keep the tracks on there because we can crush stuff with them and they're a lot of fun. So here's what we did. So normally the wheels will propel you through the water. Well, we can't do that anymore with the tracks. So instead, we've got a trolling motor. What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. We're back out on the range and today we're gonna have some fun with a 340 pound Atlas stone. I already shot an Atlas stone like I want to say two years ago and it was 380 pounds. We shot it with the 50 BMG but I've got some pretty cool rounds for us to shoot it with today. This one's only 40 pounds lighter but it's still really big and really heavy so i've got it set up over here let's go take a look at it and we're gonna get started all right so here's our atlas stone like i said it's pretty much the same size as the one we used before this thing is super heavy uh, i lift weights but i don't do strongman stuff it's 340 pounds and you got to be really strong to pick this thing up Solid concrete. I assume the last one had a styrofoam ball in the middle of it. I would just start out with the 50 BMG, but I do want to hit it with a few other things just for those who did not see the original video of 50 BMG versus Atlas Stone. Shot it with a bunch of other stuff, then the 50. We're not going to go crazy, but we are going to hit it with a few small things, then we'll hit it with the 50 BMG. Atlas Stone is set up and we're gonna start out with nine millimeter. I have my 80% arms GST9. Gonna send one round of 115 grain full metal jacket at it. I don't think it's gonna do much of anything. But before we do that, I wanna say thank you to Big Daddy Unlimited for sponsoring today's video. If you're as busy as I am and you wanna find good deals but you don't have the time to look for them, you need to check out Big Daddy Unlimited. They do all the work for you and you reap all the benefits and all you do is pay a simple membership. It's a really cool thing they got going. Be sure and check them out. And again, a big thank you to Big Daddy Unlimited for sponsoring today's video. Yeah, nothing happened. We hit right there, and it did nothing to that Atlas stone. Up next, we're gonna use 45 ACP. This is a 235 grain full metal jacket, but we are not going to be using a 1911. We're gonna be using this beautiful thing. This is my chrome Tommy gun made by Auto Ordnance. Just absolutely beautiful. Not a whole lot of damage. 9 mil, 45 ACP. Both have done absolutely nothing to this Atlas stone. All right, now let's step it up to 44 Magnum. This is my Smith & Wesson model 629 with a six and a half inch barrel. And I'm gonna be using some Underwood ammo, 300 grain jacket at hollow points. <laughs> nothing. Okay, well the 44 Magnum did do more damage than the nine and the 45 did, but still not a whole lot. All right, we're going to use one more thing before we step it up to 50 BMG, and that's 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. This is no ordinary 500 Magnum. This is a Magnum Research BFR with a 20-inch barrel. Just absolutely ridiculous. And I'm going to be using some Underwood ammo, 350 grain jacket at hollow points. Okay. That did a little bit of damage. 
Yeah, we did quite a bit of damage with the 500 Magnum. All right, let's flip this thing around so we get a fresh side before we hit it with the 50 BMG slap rounds. I've had this ammo for a long time. This is a 50 BMG slap tracer. So this is not a 50 caliber round. It's smaller than 50 cal, and then it has a plastic sabo around it. So it's moving a lot faster because it's a lighter round, and that's like a tungsten armor penetrating core. I not really 100% sure exactly what that is made out of, but I know that these are mean rounds. And I also know that you cannot shoot this out of a Serbu BFG 50A or even the RN 50, or I'm pretty sure you can't use a Barrett either because the tolerances are too tight on those rifles. And this apparently will damage your gun. Luckily, my dude Mark Serbu hooked me up and he sent me a heavy barrel for my RN 50. It's like 36 inches long and way heavier but this one has a machine gun chamber so it's a bigger chamber so you can shoot stuff like this so i'm pretty excited about this been waiting a long time to shoot these things we've got the atlas stone turned around on a fresh side and we're going to hit it with a 50 bmg slap tracer and see what happens let's add some leaves to the table so we get a little more effect All right, Mark. I hope you sent the right barrel. Here we go. Three, two, one. I was aiming dead center and we hit to the right. I sided this thing in with 660 grain full metal jackets. Each round's a little different, so let's go check it out. Something else I forgot to tell you is uh, each one of those rounds is like over a hundred bucks a piece. <sighs> All right. Oh my gosh, it blew through it. I've got us a nice little hole right there. And it came out the back. Right through there. Dang. So it came out right here. So I mean, heck, that might be where it hit right there. I didn't want to fire two rounds, but I may shoot it one more time. So like I said, these rounds are like a hundred bucks a piece. We're about to pull the trigger again. That's $200. So if you could help me out, Go check out Kentucky Ballistics Clothing. There's a link in the description down below. And we got youth clothing now. Okie dokie. We hit dead center that time. I went ahead and went with my gut, and my gut said, aim to the left a little bit. It's probably gonna hit to the right again. So I did, and we hit dead center. Let's go check that out. We hit right here, pretty much dead center, and we have got a crack all the way around this block, but I don't think we went through. Oh yeah, by the way, I stuck a can of gravy behind it just in case we did make it all the way through, that would have been really cool if the gravy exploded, but didn't happen. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh! Ugh. Oh, there it is. Ew! Darn it left gravy here look at this so we hit right here it went all the way through this stone and it stopped right there i am really really excited that we caught this thing i cannot believe that we caught it in the stone okay got my little hatchet with me from my big delco bag i'm just going to use the back of that there put on my safety glasses
Getting closer. Oh, 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 oh. oh my gosh. I cannot believe that we have this right now. So this is what's inside that plastic Sabo. And this had a really pointy tip, but it's a little dull now from the Atlas Stone. And then on the back here, you can see that there's some red on the inside of that. That's kind of hollowed out. And that's where the tracer compound was. All right, I'm gonna try and flip this thing over and lean it up against the railroad ties. We'll hit it one more time like a full metal jacket. Oh my gosh. Dude, it's the other one. What the heck, man? We found the other one. It was just right there. Just to prove it to you. So you don't think that I just dropped this thing on the ground. <laughs> that one got pretty chewed up too. That is awesome. I cannot believe we caught both of these things. That is ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna finish setting this thing back up. Darn it! I stepped in the gravy again. Ow! Ah. Ugh! Woo! Actually, maybe I should put this gravy behind here. Ah. Uh, gravy on my hand. All right, I've got two PMC bronze 660 grain full metal jackets. Let's bust up the rest of that stone. You know what? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I said this in a previous video. I'm trying to get Instagram to 100,000. I need like 20,000 more of you to go follow me on Instagram. There's 1.2 million of you. So I know there's gotta be at least another 20,000 of you who aren't following me on Instagram. When I hit 100,000, I have a video of me in training getting tased. And I'm gonna post it over there when we hit 100K. But I'll tell you what else I'm gonna do now. If you get me to 100K before the end of the year, I'll give away both of these things. So then you'll get these tungsten cores and you'll get to see me get tased. So, Go follow me on Instagram. Link in the description down below. Full metal jacket. No! Three, two, one. Golly. We should go check it out, but uh, let's go ahead and hit it one more time. With the regular RN50 barrel, you can't just pull the brass out. You've got to pry it out with your next round. With this looser chamber, it just comes right out of there. Maybe we'll hit that gravy this time. That'd be cool. gravy <laughs> oh my gosh that gravy got splattered <laughs> still got a big old chunk nothing in that nothing in this one just checking around the gravy can first Here's some jacket. Those full metal jackets have a steel core, a mild steel core, so technically they should have survived. They survived the first time. It's a piece of anchor, courtesy of the elephant gun. Okay, we may not be able to find the first round, but it looks like that second round hit the can of gravy <laughs> so let's take a look at this so it looks like it went through it and then it went into the railroad tie there's a new little spot there let's look though maybe we can see it in there no no i don't see it <laughs> 
Well, that's gonna be it for today's video. I had a lot of fun. I'm glad I finally got to use some of these 50 BMG slap rounds. I have three rounds left. What do you wanna see me shoot with these last three 50 BMG slap rounds? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed today's video as much as I did, do me a favor and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you check me out on Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below or on my website, KentuckyBallistics.com. Again, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. And I'll see you next time.